quick work. Come on, Anne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have done this. I'm going to get this. Sally, where's Sonny? Oh, I, um, I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, well, he's probably just caught up in traffic. It backs up bad behind the North Bridge. Yeah, well, he should be here. Well, don't worry about it. I see enough of him every day. Now, he's up at Hammerhead almost every weekend. That house must be a palace at this point. Yeah. It was in pretty bad shape. His grandfather did pretty pretty much no maintenance by the end, but uh, it's about 85% done now, so. Oh. A dream house in the country. I am so jealous of you. Okay, 25 years and you're jealous? Oh, you'll get there. Congratulations again, you two deserve it. Um, I'm gonna head out. Hey, you wanna live? Oh. No, 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 it's five blocks from here. Hmm? Does this mean you're not mad anymore? Why, because you wanted a couple days by yourself? Don't be ridiculous. Good. I didn't even notice you were gone. Good. And I certainly didn't miss you. All day. All day long. Mm-hmm. Let's go home. <laughs> this is the closest you could park? It's the only one for blocks. That is one thing I am not going to miss about the city. Yeah. I am starving. Mm. Mm. Well, you're in luck. Yeah? Yeah. Compliments of Marsha and Vic's anniversary party, which mm. at, by the way, you were missed. Oh, well, traffic was bad, especially over the North Bridge. Aha. Why is anniversary cake never as good as birthday cake? Hmm? Because birthdays are for kids, and cakes are for kids. That's a kid thing. It's not an anniversary thing. Sally, did you do the... Yeah, it was negative. Look, it's still too early. I waited this time. Honey, that doesn't mean anything. It's, it's too soon. You could still be pregnant. I thought for sure this time. In a couple of weeks, we'll do the test again. Okay. Okay? It'll be okay, right? Yeah. Change okay. folks. Over on second, two blocks down, there's a decent shelter there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. New. Yes. No, Sally. We don't need it. No, we don't Sally. You really think you can save the world one junkie at a time, don't I'm you? I'm not trying to save anyone. Mm, wait till I get you home, little lady. I'll give you what you deserve. Mm. <laughs> oh, don't stop. <laughs> I have to. No. Yes. No, no, mm -hmm. don't stop. I'm, I have to don't stop. stop. Oh. <sighs> Come here. I love you. Mm. Love you, too. What was that? What? There's someone in the house. There's someone in the house. Stay here. I'm a police officer and I'm armed. Come out with your hands up, nobody gets hurt. I'm not gonna warn you again. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing to my house? Listen, it does not have to be this way, all right? It does not have to be this way. Thank you.
sorry. Just call me anytime. As area equals squares, volume equals cubes, so quadrilateral equations must mean. I'm sorry, kids. I can't do this anymore. Sal, how you holding up? You ought to know. You got one uniform or another shadowing me all the time. Till I know what happened, I'm not taking any chances. I know what happened. Oh, we don't know why. We don't know who, and we don't know if he's planning a return visit. If he was a junkie, he's long gone. If he was a burglar, he's got better things to do. Would you please call the tail off me? What if it's an ex gone with a grudge? I can take care of myself. With what? A thing in your pocket? Let me cut to the chase, Sal. For you, I happen to know. Teaching's like breathing. You can't help yourself. So when I hear that you're thinking about not going back to work... Why don't you tell that to someone who still cares? You know, you're not the only one whose world ever fell apart. He was like a little brother to me. I know. I just... What I told them from internal. There's no way Eddie could be involved with anything. What are you talking about? I was hoping it would all be cleared up and forgotten by the time you found out about it. But... Well, there's some evidence missing from the sting that Eddie organized. Are you telling me they think he's dirty? No. I'm saying no. I'm going to get the guy that did this. Sal, you cannot hide out from the world in here. Not from the world, not from yourself. I know that, Vic. I know I can't stay here anymore. You got someplace to go? I'm, I'm going to the house that Eddie built for us. Sal. Sal. Sal, you know I'm always only a phone call away. I know that. Thank you, and I, I, I appreciate it. Look, I gotta go. You're gonna be okay.
Sheriff Red Hill. Hey, Duncan. Afternoon, Kirsty. You in a good mood? Ah, uh, typical. I'd say it's still touch and go. Hmm. No classes, huh? Oh, I just had to stay time and, you know, overtime's overtime. Yeah. You gotta get what you can. Stan. It's a good kid, that Kirsten. Duncan, how you doing? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I'd rather be out on my boat. Yeah, well, the fish will wait. Sure. Where are they gonna go? Things okay at home? I don't mean to pry, but it can't be easy. Well, Doc thinks we caught it in time. I guess the biggest worry now is the insurance. Ain't that the truth. Yeah, I love Arlene, you know. I, I, I'd do anything for her, but... Just sometimes it wears you down, you know? Test come back okay? Hold her on. Stan, you know I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to. I'm not your mother. I appreciate it, Stan. Thanks. Right here? Yeah. Okay. I'd wait a couple of days if I were you. I wish I could. What's the matter with you, you stupid, stupid idiot? Look, I did two years hard time and I'm not going back in. Not for you, not for anybody. What'd I do? I got a call from a guy in Stratton who I don't know from Adam. Stratton! Wants to know if we can do business. Said you gave him my number. He's a good guy. Okay, I, I know. You I just... know nothing. I don't want to see you around here again. You got that? Your money's no good no. here. Just saw her. Saw her? Who? Who's her? Come on, you must have seen her. She had to drive right through town in a black pickup. Uh, Eddie Hansen's widow? Yeah, I saw her. Well, are you gonna do something about it? Gary Sharp. I hope this isn't a bad time. For what? I'll stop by and say hi. Hi. I knew Ed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hi. It's nice to meet you. 
Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. Um, can I get you something? No, thanks. I can't stay. Well, you didn't just come over here to bring me a plant, did you? You understand, it's just business. The plant? No, not the plant. Ed? I came to talk about Ed. Don't make it hard. You know what I'm talking about. I think you better leave. There's some, uh, you know, pharmaceuticals missing. How dare you come to my house? A couple and... hundred thousand dollars worth missing? If you think Eddie had any. We all think Eddie. Now, listen, I need to see the pills or the money. You need a couple of days to jog your memory. You got it. Ed would never be involved in something like that. It's very convincing. I'd hate to see something happen to you. Being Eddie's widow and all. Yeah, I'd hate to see that. I can't. This house and a couple of photographs, it's all I have left of Eddie. I am not running away from that now. IA investigations are sealed, but Eddie's sting is making big news in the drug world. I'm sure the drug dealers up there have a direct line to what's going on here. But why Eddie? There was at least a dozen other cops on that sting. I don't know. Listen. Is he being framed? I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't worry about it. We both know what their investigation is going to prove. Eddie was an honest cop. Thanks for saying that. Listen, Marcia sends her love, and remember, if you ever need to get out of there, we've got a bedroom waiting here for you. Thanks. Take care, Sal. <laughs> I waited this time. Honey, that doesn't mean anything. It's, it's too soon. You could still be pregnant. I love you. Mm. Love you too. in my house.
sit. Um, lie down? Looks like he kind of took to you. Whoa, whoa, stop. Sit. Sit. Oh, Pete. Oh, good boy, Dutch. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Dutch. Dutch. Oh, that's his name. Okay. Dutch. Hi. Duncan Tillman. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm the next place over. I was out for a drive. Thought I'd stop in. Say hello. You know something? I gotta tell you. Everybody in town's talking about you. Yeah, I bet. Oh, hey, it's nothing bad. It's just, you know, everybody knew Eddie. We all heard what happened. You knew Eddie? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm just new here myself. I've only been here not even 20 years. 20 years? What does that make me? Just an eyelash better than summer folk. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you know, you're gonna find that uh, folks around here, they take a little time to warm up. You know, they still call my place the old Clark Farm. I suppose they won't call it by my name until after I'm dead and buried, you know? So. Well, to be honest, I'm not so friendly myself. Well, that's good. You know, this town's already full up with nice people. It'd be good to have you around, you know, for the change. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, people are going to respect your privacy and keep their distance, so it's going to be up to you to make the first move. And when you do, you'll find they're friendly. That's good to know. Thanks. And, you know, you've got a big advantage because everybody's sure like Eddie. We all believe in him. What do you mean, believe in him? Well, you know, the rumors. What rumors? Well, if people talk. It's, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, well, the next time someone says something about Eddie, why don't you tell them to come talk to me? Right. I'll do that. Nice to meet you. And you. So long, Dutch. <sighs> so your name is Dutch, huh? Let's go. Looks like we're gonna be friends. repairs again on the old place. Oh, yeah? How would you know that? Oh, say you wanted bathroom wallpaper. A store in town doesn't sell it, so you phone an order into Willoughby's. The order has to be picked up. The delivery driver is my second cousin. He picks up an order for you at Wallpapers or Us. He happens to mention it, and then uh, we all know you're putting in new paper. And here I thought you were Sherlock Holmes. No, not me. No need. Small town. New secrets shared every day. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah. Optimorphin. Do you need a prescription for this? Oh, no, I don't need a prescription. I found them in the house. I just wondered what they were. I don't remember old man Hanson needing these. That old man was never sick a day in his life till the end, of course. Therefore, uh, severe pain. The pills are micro-encapsulated for time release. Instead of taking something every few hours, these last all day. Why would someone crush them up? To get high. Grinding them down defeats the coating. They get a whole dose at once. It's like uh, shooting up. Small town heroin? That's it. Except it's everywhere. Oh. I do appreciate your time, thanks. Kirsten. Glad you're here. I have a couple of orders need to go out right away. My daughter Kirsten, Ms. Hanson. Sally. Call me Sally. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Hey, wait up. 
Um, thanks. I mean, like, thanks for not saying anything to my dad. That was really cool. It's okay. And, it's okay. My husband used to say sometimes you give people a second chance and they take it. Oh, I, and I was going to say for skipping the lecture. It wasn't that big of a lecture. Touch, baby. You know him too? Yeah, well, he's actually my brother's dog, so. Your brother's dog? I found him half starved on my farm. Yeah, I know. Um, Dirk has some problems and he just sort of left home and took Dutch with him and let him just roam wild. Well, why should he care if Dutch is my dog now? I don't know, but he would. I mean, if, if he saw Dutch with you, it'd be a problem. Well, let's not make it a problem. Okay, well, um, I'll see you later. Bye. Sorry, please, put that down. I didn't mean to scare you. Who are you and what are you doing on my property? Running. What? It's like jogging, only faster. I've been running across this property for a couple years now. The guy who was fixing it said it was okay. Uh, at least no one, you know, wanted to kill me for it. Yeah, sorry about that. It's, it's not you. I've had some trouble on my property recently. Well, if you don't want me running across your property, uh... Well, to be honest, I did come here for the privacy. <laughs> well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is a small town. Can't expect any privacy. Yes, I can. Right. Okay. In future, I'll cut across Arlene and Duncan's place. Thank you. Well, it's been a damn pleasure meeting you, but uh, I gotta go. Maybe we'll meet again some year. Okay. Hello? Yes, this is... What? Oh, okay, okay, calm down. Yeah, I'll be right there. Getting here so quick. The doctor, did you call the doctor? Yeah, he just said give her more pills. It's empty. Well, this is a new prescription. There should be. 
Optimorphin. I need to get going into town. That's why I called. Can you just look after her for a while? No! You can't leave me here! Y you stay. I'll go. No, I gotta do this, okay? Don't get down! I'm sorry! We're gonna take care of you. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Just a little further. I should have kept some of them. I'm an idiot. I should have kept at least some. It was my idea, Duncan. I shouldn't have listened just for days like this. Just for that. Oh, it's not that bad. That looks not that bad. I think I can feel it myself. Okay. We needed the money. You know we did. He's going to help us out. Don't okay. worry. In you go. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Duncan, what's going on? Sorry, I, I just figured it'd be better not to come in. You know, not to come in. Was there a problem? Problem? No, of course not. It, it's Arlene. She's having a real bad day. Yeah, well, I'm real sorry to hear that. Listen, Gary, I need the buyback of you. Oh, come days. on, Duncan. You know I can't do that. They're gone by now. Well, just a few, Gary. Well, you know, I'd help you if I could. Gary, we can't get another prescription for 10 days. I know, it's hard. 10 days, Gary! You brought her here? What are you, nuts? She's sick, man. You shouldn't be dragging her around in the car. I couldn't leave her. Don't you ever do this to me again. Where else am I going to go, man? Where else are we going to go? There's half a dozen in there. Make him last. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, hey, Arlene. I'm just saying that part of the preparation for being a teacher are drug testing courses. So I went down to the library. I have downloaded some information. I am thinking about starting a group. I think that we could really okay, change wait, something wait. here. First of all, I appreciate your concern, but I think maybe you're just a little over-concerned. Over-concerned? Hammerhead does not have a drug problem. It's not the scope that you're describing. Got a few dopers and sure there's some pill popping on occasion, like any American city, but it's mostly the summer people. When the season's over, it goes away. You can't believe that. I'm gonna tell you what I do believe. I know this town better than someone who's just moved here a couple of weeks ago. I know. I'm sure you do. I know Eddie was a cop. I know you think you know something about being one, but this ain't the big city. Things are real different here. And maybe you got a good idea, but you need to slow down a little bit. You can't just come rushing in here like you know people. I am not rushing. You want to give me some specific names? I'll be happy to look into it for you. I don't have any names. Well, what about these people that are selling their prescriptions? I don't have names. See what I mean? You got no one for me to arrest. So what are we talking about here? like this pie and home ec it actually turned out this time. You seem surprised. Oh, it's just like the first thing I've ever made that I'd actually consider eating. Um, you want to try it? Sure. I've met your dad, but I haven't met your mom yet. What's she like? She died when I was four, so I don't really remember her. I'm sorry. Nah, yeah, I think it's better this way. Like. My brother Dirk remembers her really well, and I think that's what's got him so screwed up. You know, 
when you lose someone really important to you? I don't know if you ever get over it. He should be like finishing college or going to medical school or something, but instead he's just this screwed up junkie. Don't look at me like that. I might like smoke or play around a little, but he's it's just not the same thing. What's up with you leaving those pills in my kitchen? They were broad. I you don't have to say it. I don't do that stuff. Then what were you doing? It's bread. He likes it. I mean, it's just like part of growing up here. I mean, all the kids have tried it at least once. They all think I'm weird because I won't do it. Well, I think you're smarter than your friends. That stuff's really dangerous. Enough with the lecture. You said that Dirk should have been going to college. What about you? You want to go to college? Oh. Nah, I'm not as smart as him, and I keep screwing up my practice SATs, you know, the math. I could help. You tutor me? If you wanted. Oh, um, I don't know. I'm probably just no good at it. Oh, come on. Math is just logic and common sense. It seems like you've got both. I mean, look at that pie you just made. It's great. Well, I'm glad you like the pie, but I should, um, I got some deliveries today. Thanks. I swear to God, I'll break your arm. Okay, that's my dog. I will do whatever I want. He is not your dog. I take care of him. He's mine. You're gonna get it, okay? I have friends, all right? And you live alone! If you're scared. Okay. 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 He's uh Hey. He's gonna be fine. Um there's no broken bones, no bleeding. Some bruising, some bad bruising, actually. Um, but he'll be okay in a week or two. Thank you. Don't thank me. I didn't really do anything. It's thought you should thank you for getting him here so quickly. But of course, you know, mixed breeds are notoriously poor for sending off thank you notes. So you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to uh, make do with some licking and. Heavy slobbering when he's feeling better. Ah, there we go. There's a smile. <laughs> I always thought half my job was taking care of the animals, and, well, the owners need some TLC, too. I told her I'd sit with her until you came out. Ah, I see you've met my niece. Niece? Hi, I'm Lenny. Hi, I'm Sally. Nice to meet you. You want to have dinner with us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I can, really. Oh, really? Well, I, it's not you. It's me. Um, my, my husband just died recently, and I'm not sure I'm ready. Whoa. First off, she invited you. I didn't. And second, it's dinner. 
Just dinner. Okay. He's a very good cook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I bet he is. Um, can I get back to you guys on that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why don't you uh, just give us a call? Okay. Um, thanks. Bye. Bye. Was I that bad? You sucked. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even think this is English. Foreign language homework? Calculus. Okay, a function f is even if the graph of f is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, even though algebraically f is even if and only if f minus x equals f times x for all x in the domain of f. Makes sense? <sighs> ha ha. Actually, I have something else to talk to you about. What it is... I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. Sounds kind of serious. Well, the, you know the guy you saved Dutch from? That was your brother. Uh, I think that maybe you're the one who deserves an apology. Well, he's not always like that. So, I, Dirk is lost without Dutch. He wants him back. I'm sorry, no. Well, it's his dog. Not anymore, not after he kicked him. Works. Dirk knows we're friends. He asked me to ask you. I don't want it to come between us. Don't worry. I always find that the best way to clear the air is a quick review on the basics of derivatives. Half an hour of calculus will not kill you. God, you're weird. Come on. Dad, no, you're here. How did you get so ripped? I thought Gary cut you off. Not everyone here knows that. <laughs> hey, Dark. Hey, what a surprise to see you here. Yeah. Hey, you and I should talk. Yeah, okay. Good to see you, Brad. Looking good. <laughs> Emma. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dirk. You know, I always liked you. You threw me out, Gary. Just like my old man. Yeah. Okay, I, I screwed up, okay? But I... Come on, man, you, you cut me off cold. All I'm saying is maybe you learned your lesson. Maybe there's another way you can work yourself back in. Are you serious, Gary? Are you... Because I would do anything for you. You know that. Not a boy. <laughs> Sweetheart, give him a drink. He's just sucking you right back in. Stay out of here. No, he swore to me. He said no more. He's a junkie here. He can't help himself. You can't live his life for him. He's a pain in the butt, I know, but he's still my brother. Yeah! There's a lot in it for you, buddy. I'm gonna take care of you, right? Why don't you just leave him alone? Don't you have a single shred of decency in you? Hey, hey, hey! Just don't listen to her, okay? She's just a stupid kid. Don't sweat it, man. I'm out of here. You're looking hot, Kirsten. Have some fun. You promised, Dirk. On Mom's grave, you made me a promise. Yeah, so did you. You promised to get my dog back. Where is he? Huh? Where's my dog? I gave you a little time. I got feelings. I understand. I told you, I don't know. What you gotta understand is I'm a serious man. Is it 11 o'clock yet? I don't know what time it is. I'll tell you exactly what time it is. Time for you to look out your window.
So what am I supposed to think? You said forget it. You said that this guy was just bluffing. You said he's probably just some small time hood. Okay, Sal, you gotta slow down a minute. How does some guy in the middle of nowhere know what happened to Eddie? I don't know. I mean, maybe he's not the guy, but come on. Maybe he knows about the direct line. Maybe it really was a hit. There's no way Eddie could be involved. I don't know. Maybe maybe he knows the guy who did it. I, I'm totally over my head here. Sally. I'm completely freaked out. Sally. Stop. First of all, there's no way Eddie could have done anything illegal without me knowing about it, okay? Or without you knowing about it, especially you, right? Okay, then why is this guy threatening my life? Why does he think that Eddie stole drugs? Why does he think that it's in my house? Because they're still missing. And Eddie's the obvious suspect. We know he didn't do it. But until those pills show up, people are going to be suspicious. Well, Gary Sharp just blew up my truck. Did you report him? To who? The one cop in this place that thinks I'm a crackpot? The state troopers. Okay, I'm talking to you, and you know me. And even you think I'm off my rocker. What do you think the state troopers are going to think? Besides, I don't have proof that he was the one that did it. Vic, are you there? You've got to come back here. There is no way I can protect you in some hole-in-the-wall place that's halfway past the middle of nowhere. Sally, come back here. No. I thought you'd say that. Listen, I'm going to say this to clear the table, okay? So don't get mad. I'm listening. Did Eddie ever mention anything to you about Optimorphic? Thanks, Vic. Thanks a lot. Bread and butter, Captain. I, I wouldn't do nothing, Eddie. I tracked down every lead I could think of, every jerk he ever put away, everyone on parole. You may be my last hope. You hear anything? I want to know. You understand? Anything you hear on the streets, you hear it from me. Get yourself cleaned up before you leave. Okay. Okay. Hey. Dirk, what? What the hell are you doing here? If Dad sees me here, he's gonna blow. Oh, he's not gonna be up for like another hour. God, how do I get to be such a complete screw up? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I, I screw up and I end up with everyone mad at me. Well, everyone screws up now and then. Well, I do it all the time. I don't mean to, Chrissy. I swear I don't mean to. Are you crying? I did something real bad. It will be your friend's truck. What? What friend? Hanson. What? 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 How would you do that? There's nothing in it, man. We can hurt. Gary put you up to this, huh? I just want my dog back. Did Gary put you up to this? Did he give you more pills? I needed the curse, the curse, I needed it bad.
Stay Dutch. Stay. If I blow up, there's plenty of dog food in the pantry. I'm sorry, it's mostly in cans. still on? <laughs> hey, I thought I told you to go to bed 20 minutes ago. You know I can't tell time. Oh, really? Then you know I'm gonna have to start counting, don't you? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Got <Yeah>. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. It's time for a good night's sleep, okay? Okay. Good night. Night, honey. Sleep tight. She's a sweetie. And she knows it. I wonder who told her. Just over a year ago, my sister and her husband died in a fire on a weekend at a B&B. Lenny was staying with me, and uh, she's been with me ever since. Eddie was crazy about having kids. We talked about it all the time. We actually thought we'd raise them here. Sounds like a good plan. It was. We had it all figured out. We had saved up enough money so that we could both quit our jobs, move here, and float off the money until we figured out what we were going to do for the rest of our lives. When Annie died, um, I lost everything. Well, not everything. I still have the home, but I feel like if I left right now, I'd be leaving his final gift to me. That's a healthy way of looking at it. You know, sometimes I still feel like I'm losing him. Oh, God. 
Oh, no. oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean for you no. to see that. I mean, look, Sally, someone leaked an internal affairs investigation, all right? It, it, there are no facts, none. It's just rumors and bad journalism. Yeah, but people believe these things. It's a small town. People gossip and assume the worst. What is it with this, this small town crap? Eddie always reveled in this place. I thought I could get away from everything I hated about the city, but here it's worse. This is a sign of the times. You can't escape the city. Or narcotics. Look, can I give you a word of advice? Don't try and fix things. It won't happen. And you'll just get hurt. Did Eddie know how bad it was here? Probably not. He only came up on weekends and he pretty much stayed at the farm. Eddie was an honest cop. I believe that. How do you know? As you chose him, that's good enough for me. Thank you. I really needed to hear that right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Sally, you know you can count on me. Yeah. Tell me about the pharmaceutical drug hijacking. Sal. What was in the truck? Optimorphin? There must have been a manifest. Yeah, there was Optimorphin plus uh, uppers and downers. Uh, what do you need to know? That guy I told you about? I think he knows who shot Eddie. Is this that guy Gary Sharp you're telling me about? I ran him. He's a creep, no question. But Sal, he's a small time dealer. We're looking for bigger fish. No, no, no. He knows something. I doubt it. The streets are full of rumors down here. We got stoolies calling in with all kinds of tips and nothing pans out. But listen, just in case, I don't want you anywhere near him. You got that? Yeah. Sal? Josh, come here. Josh, come here, boy. Come on. Come on, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride, Josh. Let's go. We'll go for a ride? Josh, come here. Come on. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Just want my dog back. He's not your dog anymore. Ow! You got it. You got a gun? Fine. You know, I can get a gun. I'll get a gun too! I'm so sorry, Kirsten. You never even knew him when he was nice. You only saw his worst side. He was really funny and smart. And he really loved Dutch. He really did. Stuff just wasted him.
He's the one that bombed your truck. Yeah, I know. There's a memorial service tomorrow. Would you come? Um, um. Well, I don't, I don't think that's a very good idea. You're the only person I can talk to. I can't, I can't go through it alone. Please. <laughs> of course, of course I'll be there. Okay. When he, uh, won the track meet six years ago, I, I'm sure we'd be seeing him on TV someday. Maybe even the Olympics. And then, uh, and he changed. And I, uh, we tried to help him. He was a good kid. And he tried, but things got worse and worse. And I couldn't help him anymore. He wouldn't let me. And that's because because <laughs> Dirk lived fast, loved hard, and died screaming. You can't ask more out of life than that. Dirk died trying to get his dog back. He loved that dog more than anything, and it cost him his life. Hell, we're used to this here, right? Strangers coming in here telling us how to live our lives. Meddling in our affairs, pretending to know more than us. Well, look what it got us. Now, we're just supposed to take this? We're gonna let her get away with it? Yeah, that's right, you go. If it weren't for you, Dirk would be alive today. No. Don't. Just don't. Dirk didn't die trying to rescue his dog, and don't you try to blame this on me. Oh, hello, Doc. Well, why don't you get out of here and let these people mourn in peace? Or haven't you done enough already? No! He was my brother, and I loved him. But we all know why he died. He was a drug addict on off D, and it made him mean and nasty and abusive and and he couldn't that's the truth we all know it sally he died because we couldn't find a way to get him back we the adults I don't know how many kids have died here on this Opti morphine, but I... I yeah, I Tammy Shipley two months ago, and Marty Weisberg on his motorcycle, and one of the Sheldon twins OD'd since Christmas, and you, you are the one who is responsible for all of this! And we all know it, but none of us have the guts to say it, because you killed my brother! You killed my brother, and it's, it's shame on you! I know I'm new in town, but I do live here. We have a real problem, and we need to do something about it. I, I am a teacher, so I know something about drugs. I know they can make you feel empty and hollow, and I think I can help. So that's what I'm up here to say. I think I can help. That was important, what you did in there. Are you okay? Yeah. Can I buy a cup of coffee? You don't drink coffee. If you want someone to talk to. I just wish someone would hold me.
God, you scared me. <laughs> hey, Sal. Oh. It's good to see you. Well, your call's got me worried, so I thought I'd come up and unofficially take a look around, see what's going on, and maybe take in some fishing, too. Did you check Gary Sharp? I did. He's a bad guy, but I don't think he's a killer. Come on in. I'll uh, tell you what I found out. You tell me what you know. That's a deal. Oh, we watched and we waited for weeks. And finally, they gathered everything up and loaded up this 18-wheeler with every stolen pharmaceutical in the county. And that's when we lowered the boom. And the bus went down just the way it was supposed to, just the way Eddie planned it. So how does that become a problem? Well, Eddie had three big vans on call, and the stuff was supposed to be loaded off the truck into the vans for lockup. Well, turns out a few hundred thousand dollars worth of hillbilly heroin gets loaded off the truck, doesn't make it to the warehouse. Got misplaced or something. I don't like your tone here, Vic. I'm just saying Eddie's people were in charge. And you think Eddie had something to do with it going missing? I'm saying I don't have any evidence that points to anybody else, yet. Well, if there's any evidence pointing to Eddie, he's been framed. Eddie's clean. Eddie was my best friend, Sal. So why are you accusing someone who can't defend themselves? Come on, Sal. I haven't told anybody this. You're getting your checks from the department. Do you think you'd be getting checks if I said something? I thought you came down here to talk about the investigation. Is this why you came all the way down here? I'm just saying, drop it. Let it go away. Let's try to remember Eddie as the good cop we knew. You're closing the case? Not closing, Sal. I never said closing. We've exhausted all the leads we had. You may turn out to be right. Some stray junkie out scavenging. You must be exhausted. I'm going to go get your bed ready. Okay, last chance. You want to go out in the water? Are you kidding? When I was a kid, my dad used to take us out fishing overnight. So I figured... You are never here. Go. Enjoy. Okay. Kill a fish. Okay. If you can. You're going to be okay alone. I'm going to be fine. Go. Let me leave you my cell phone now. It's very sweet. There it is. Thank you. Go, please. You don't have to tell me twice. mind coming in here. What is it you think you're going to do? What do you want? You killed my husband. You got to be kidding me. I may be a lot of things, but I never laid a hand on Eddie. What, are you going to shoot me for torching your truck? You said that Eddie owed you. You said... I said what they told me to say. Go scare the lady, they said, or you're cut off out of business. Who? Names? I don't know any names. The Opti Man, his people. That's all I know. You think I keep that crap in my house? Hmm. A quarter million dollars worth of Optimorphin doesn't take up a lot of room. Gary! <laughs> 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 Get that little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> 
on her own. One is enough. Enough! Eddie had any We all think Eddie. Out for rumors. What rumors? Let's try to remember Eddie as the good cop we knew. <laughs> Friends. Oh, please, Eddie. Don't let it be true. Concern. 
If you find yourself in possession of this highly classified information, please contact Agent Bert Oberlin at the FBI immediately. I knew you weren't dirty. Pick up, Vic. Come on, pick up. Some kids just can't handle their optomorphin. You were behind all this? Ah, uh, just a small cog in the wheel. You rented the boat? Cover. Anybody asks, I was out in the water when this whole thing went down. It was you at the apartment. You shot Eddie. You shot him, you shot your friend. My friend? He found the pills that were missing from the sting. And he had proof that I'd taken them. He was gonna turn me in. Well, what's the difference between that and a bullet? You tell me. No, it wasn't easy on me, Sally. Just sweep the pills up and put them in a bag. Eddie knew. Eddie knew what you were doing, didn't he? Just be nice, all right, Sally? Just throw your little gun over here, all right? Why? So you can kill us both? <laughs> you can save her life. So I need someone to take the heat. She's gonna wake up with a gun in her hand. After you killed her brother, I'll be a free man. I'm gonna count to two. You throw that gun over here, or I'm gonna blow her brains out. One. Okay, okay, okay. And the file. Good girl, Sally. I'm sorry, Sally. I really am. Just tell me he was clean, Vic. He was clean. He was too clean. That's what cost him his life. I went over to your place that night to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen. He said if I turned myself in, the pills and the file would disappear. But if he had to turn me in, it'd turn up as evidence. Those weren't good choices for me.
The whole town came out to support you. I guess the silence is broken. We knew what we had to do. I'm just so grateful. Nah, Sally, it's us who's grateful to you. Well, I have business in the morning. Do you want to come in for a cup of coffee? You know, I don't drink coffee. Okay, then. Well, I could give it a try. I mean, I hear it's an acquired taste. Come on, Dutch.